to be careful. You're about 93 feet up in the air. You've dropped your rig and you've dropped your rope. Sonny Metler, our show manager, has got one of your balls in his net. Did I say that right? I brought an extra one in case I dropped one. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh! The log shows that, that we're a part of now, for the most part, are events and the type of equipment they use, a lot of it was from the old days, the old cross-cut saw, which is called the misery whip. And if you ever were on the end of one, you'd know it, it really is pretty tough sawing a tree with one of those. And so a lot, of, a lot of what they do now is representative of how it was done back in the old days. Well, if you like to dance on water, be out with the ducks and the fish Then get a job on a booming ground And live a life of risk Holding logs with the old pike pole Holding logs with the old pike pole Floating around on logs all day Holding logs with the old pike pole <laughs> Good job, you guys. I told you never get that in front of you like that. You gotta have it off to the side like this. We did good. One thing about logging that I really love, it's kind of a little bit of the past. The man is the provider. He's the strength of the family and the woman is the lady. You don't find very many women out logging. That's definitely a man's world. He puts on his big belt and straps on his spurs To climb up that high takes a man with real nerve Throws his rope around the back Ties his hip to him good time Takes his spurs My grandfather and also my great-grandfather were loggers. And I feel like uh, it's kind of in the blood. When you ask me if Kyle's going to be a logger, I think if there's any trees left to cut, I think you probably will. <laughs>